Hey YouTube, today we're going to activate our backup camera on the back of this 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's really nasty and pollen-y out here and it's real windy so hopefully you could hear. We're going to activate this backup camera that I installed on here quite some time ago but never plugged it up. And we're going we're gonna to connect it up to the head unit that we have installed and I'll show you what I've done so far. So let's get to it. So what I did maybe a year ago was install this backup camera by just putting it on the license plate like this and running the cable up through the uh, tag light housing into the underside of the, the uh, back panel here. So the cable is somewhere coiled up in here. Coiled up in here. From the head unit, I ran this video cable with a red trigger on it up under the panel all the way up through driver through driver's side on the front and in the rear and up into this panel in the back here you can't see the cable but it's up under this panel here and it goes up under here all the way through the back and comes out here what I'm gonna do is I have some more cable and a gender changer to connect it. I'm gonna connect that connected trigger. We need a live trigger from the reverse lamp here. And the reverse lamp is a violet or a purple with a black stripe. We're gonna take a tap in from that for the trigger here and run this all the way, all the way up through this little connector thing here. We're gonna have to take this back panel off and run the um the cable all the way to the light here all the way to the backup camera that's somewhere up under here so hopefully you can see this really good this here's a gender changer i'm just going to use that to connect the two and i'm just going to solder these two together i'm also going to solder another piece of red uh together with it all right with this thing sorted up and connected up now all we got to do is get access behind here to connect this red cable to the violet and black cable that is for the uh, backup light. It's really windy out here so hopefully you could hear me really well. To get this panel off we gotta take this panel here off. To get this one off we gotta take this top one off which we gotta take off anyhow to gain access to this before we actually get this back piece here off. To take this piece off, we gotta take these uh, this uh, tonneau cover here off. All easy to do. Let's go ahead and pop the tonneau off. It comes off real easily. Just push it together like so. The one at the top, that comes off real easy too. You just, you just pull this down towards you a little bit. It helps a little bit if you have a screwdriver or one of these trim removal tools because what you got to do is just pull this rubber piece off and just it should just come right off you gotta be careful because there's a plastic piece that holds onto the headliner so you don't want to pull that off too hard just this plastic piece here let's try the other piece now So that comes off relatively easy to the same way. Just a couple clips holding it with a couple guide rods. All right, to take this piece off here, you gotta take this piece off here. And there are a couple screws holding this piece in place. All right, before we pop this panel off, we got I think we gotta take these two screws off here. I only wanna get a peek in here, so I probably might get away with only taking this one off here. Yep, that's actually held on to the body there. Let's see if we can pop this out now. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Now here's our thought. If you look back here, 
you see that the wire is all taped up nice and snug it might be easier to get to that through the back of the uh, the light housing it might just be easier than trying to take all that tape off let's try that see if it's easier there's just two screws that holds this tail light together or holds it in place that is All right, so here we go. And this is the one that we're looking for, valid with a black. Maybe it might be easy to just push the cable through here and take a splice from that. Here's the valid cable. And I'm just gonna use one of these connectors and snap it in place, just trim this off and snap it onto here. All right, there we go, connected, red connected to the valid. With black, let's just go ahead and pop this thing back in. All right, so we could go ahead and button all this back up because all we really need to do now is run this cable all the way up to here. And this should just snap back in place. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this piece back on. All right, now we're gonna take this back panel off. And this is supposed to be a little bit tricky. There's three screws, one here, and one in either place there and then there's just a whole bunch of um of uh trim clips holding it on we need to remember to take oh i need to remember to take these two clips off so i can pull this back piece off and then run the cable up through there there's also two more screws right here These are long ones. All right, with this uh, trim panel off, here's the cable for the uh, for the camera. There's the power. There's the video. We're gonna take we're gonna take our video cable and snake it all the way around, and uh, probably utilize the existing clips in here and connect these two. This is actually a ground and a power so um we're gonna have to separate those and i'm just gonna use this little adapter i have here it seems as that this little wire and loom here is quite full so i'm gonna be struggling a little bit to get this this uh video cable in through there so bear with me while i do that and i'll be back in just one all right so here what i had to do i had to cut a little hole in this little rubber gasket and I'm going to just seal this up with some uh, room temperature vulcanizing uh, silicone so it doesn't leak and I'm going to do the same thing on this one on the top here. Alright this is what I had to do just put two little holes in there I'm going to squirt some self some room temperature vulcanizing uh, silicone sealant in there and that should seal those up from the weather. Alright so now here's the cable I'm just going to run it along here since there's something to tie it to, I could just zip tie it onto this and probably run it back behind here and get it on that. All right, maybe you could see that. That's the connections up there. It's all buttoned up. Well, not buttoned up, but it's all connected up. I just need to uh, tie these cables up here so it's out of the way, any actuators, and then put the um, uh, put a piece of plastic back on the back. All right, I've started the vehicle up. The head unit's on. Let's go ahead and stick it in reverse and make sure it works. There we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. The lines are from the camera itself. The cones are what are on this head unit. That's the markers used on the head unit, but as you can see, we have a backup camera. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.